1170, The Answer. Welcome back. Welcome back. You are listening to Whistle Wednesdays here on AM 1170, The Answer. My name is Kyle Whistle, your host with Whistle Realty. Joined by my guest co-host today, Mr. Brian, the kitty cat coachy, marketing and media manager over at Whistle Realty. And again, before the break, talking with James Cassidy, State Farm Insurance. If you got any insurance needs, you need auto insurance, health insurance, life insurance, anything. He is Cat the guy. insurance? Do you do pet insurance? Yeah, you it's within your homeowner's insurance. And <laughs> yeah. State Farm has no limitations on the uh, no like limitations dogs. On like no, yeah, well, All right. Yeah, this, no cats. They're, they're causing problems. But like pit bulls, <laughs> Rottweilers, Dobies, yeah. no limitations on those. And no, no number limits, right? So 37 is okay? Uh, crazy cat lady. Are you down <laughs> one? I thought you had 38. Well, I mean, Brian, you hey, If you guys have never listened to the show before, don't know Brian, the kitty cat coachy. He may have a cat or two. I can't even argue with it as I'm wearing cat socks today. So I'm wearing my... Cats wearing glasses socks, so I can't even argue on it today. And you were gifted a book about cats on the way in here because of your known love for cats. I've gotten cat books, calendars, grumpy cat. Uh, I got a cat shirt from Kyle. I get cat stuff. (laughs) (laughs) We love you, Brian. Well, thank you. We love you, but I want to give you a little time in the spotlight right now. I know you've got a new project that we just launched. And let's talk a little bit about the project, the inspiration behind it, where people can find out more. Let's get into it, man. So we're doing a new project off of the heels of our insanely popular series, Santee Saturdays. Um, This new series is called East County Eats. And similar to Santee Saturdays, we're doing a, a business spotlight and really kind of showing off what we're doing different this time is really showing off the food. Uh, we just did our first episode aired Friday, um, on Annie's Burgers, really spotlighting their special, you know, what makes them unique. Um, They have amazing burgers, uh, better milkshakes, but they don't want us to say that because they take too long to make. Hmm. Um, But fries, burgers, wings, hot dogs. I don't like hot dogs, but uh, I hear they're great. Um, So we're really taking the time to focus on kind of the behind the scenes of what's going on in the kitchens um, and and the, the food... That's coming out. So really kind of showing if my goal is if someone goes, man, I'm hungry. This is a conversation I have with my wife every night. What do you want for dinner? I don't know. And if you have this same situation, go to East County or Facebook.com slash East County Eats and like the page because it'll it'll answer your question. But it happens every time. What do you want to eat? I don't know. I don't know. And we t- say that back and forth for about 45 minutes until one of us dies. Um <laughs> <laughs> then we call James and say, hey, what's our policy again? Right. Um, so we did Annie's. We're going to be doing kind of anything from in East County. So we're doing uh, Eastbound Bar and Grill. We're doing Eccentric International Chefs. We're doing Farmer's Table La Mesa. We're doing Cerritos Mexican Shop in Oklahoma? Spring Valley. Or Spring Valley, yeah. Um, so anything not San Diego, anything East that's not San Diego we want to feature. So if you have a favorite business, if you own an East County food, I, I like to call them eateries. I think that's the word I'm going to go for. If you have an East County eatery, um, go to facebook.com slash East County Eats. We're also on Instagram. There's a link on both of those to fill out a form to be featured. I'm actually looking, we're going to be recording a episode after the radio show today at Eastbound, which is going to be our episode this week, correct? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the thing. Production. So Santee Saturdays was great. We did it every week. Um, and I plan to do East County Eats every week. The problem is I really, really, really worked hard to step up the production value. Um, and I and I think East County Eats, or the Annie's one, is by far my best video that I've done in this type of format. Um, so I love that. That means it takes about three, four, five times the amount of time um, to make it twice as good looking. Um, so it's a lot of work, but I'm really stoked on it. We're doing Eastbound. I think what Kyle was getting at is we don't we starve ourselves the day before, so that way we can eat at the at the place. Yeah, the, I, I'm looking over the jalapeno burger that we are. <laughs> the, how is that? The jalapeno, jalapeno yes. <laughs> on a stick? Jalapeno a stick. burger that we are going to get to enjoy later at Eastbound Bar and Grill out in Lakeside. 
half pound burger, pepper jack cheese, Ooh. grilled jalapenos, <laughs> grilled onions, and house made jalapeno cream cheese. Have you not had it before? I don't think I've had that specific burger, but I am very, very much looking forward to it. I've had it. I know that they actually had a big burger battle a few years ago, and Eastbound came out on top in all of San Diego County. Really? So I'm excited to try them tonight. I am too. It, it'll be uh, it'll be fun. It'll be a lot of work, but I, I love shooting these. Yeah. Um, the really cool thing, so like we did with Santee Saturdays, we do this completely free to the businesses. So if your business, again... Give us a call, shoot us a text, 619-663-7355, or go on Facebook, Instagram, search East County Eats, 619-663-SELL. Um, we do this completely free. All we're asking businesses is to offer a business card that we can wrap, or a, a uh, gift, gift, card. gift card that we can raffle off in our Facebook contest. But we do all of this free. I spend eight hours working on one of these videos. And they're coming out really cool. Um, I'm really happy with how Annie's wit did. We're still figuring out the format, but we're getting back in the kitchen. Um, we're going to do one. I'm going to have uh, coming up later where we're going to have a decorate off on a cake. And we're going to see how Kyle compares to Chef Carl and see how uh, how that works out. <laughs> That's going to be a hot mess. I've, That's got, kind of the plan. I've got a couple uh, recommendations where we can talk offline yeah, about some I, secret got, spots. Okay. Canada. Absolutely. My daughter probably has more artistic ability than I do, and she's not even a year uh, old. Yet. So, so I can't even draw a stick figure. That's the, that's the plan. And he goes, how long? Do you want to give it 10 minutes, 20 minutes, whatever? I said, I want it to be to where, Chef, that you can make it amazing in that amount of time. And Kyle's looks like dog poo-poo. I want it to be... I want it to, I'm like, I love Kyle. He's my boss, but... Because he's my boss, I want to incredibly embarrass, embarrass him. him. <laughs> um, so that's the plan. I already went there, got some B-roll, some footage of the cakes, the cookies, the macaroons. They sent me home with a box of cookies that I brought to the office. The plan was to bring them home. I brought my wife, Victoria, about two and a half cookies, all in halves, because everyone ate the... They, the office ate the entire box. There was like three of us there. So good. I'll have you know, I used to date a professional cake decorator, so I may know a trick or two. Are you, are you, are you going to call He's holding a, back. Kyle's going to phone a friend. <laughs> I don't think the wife would like that. I don't think so either. <laughs> but the goal of the show, so kind of some of our inspiration. One, we did this show called Sandy Saturdays. did 100 episodes of it, and what we found is people love food. And they don't so, just love food. They freaking love, love it. That's, yes. that's a quote from one of our videos. Yes, people freaking love food. So we're kind of missing mixing diners, drive-ins, and dives with Tasty. Correct. Because Tasty on Facebook, if you guys don't know, you actually probably have watched Tasty videos and don't and even I think know it, but it's where they, right? they show recipes of food being made, and they make it look like it takes five minutes to make this food, even though most of them take like an hour to make. But we want to kind of show not only the food, but how it's actually made and how it's constructed so that maybe you might be a little bit inspired and go and try to replicate that dish at home. But Lord knows you're not going to do it as well as these guys do. And you're going to end up going and giving them some business anyway. But people love food porn. Food porn is hot. There used to be an app, and I don't think it's around anymore, but it literally was just take a picture of what you're eating and post it. Food spotting. Yeah, I think it's called so. Instagram. Yeah, no. <laughs> that's what it is now. Yes. Yeah. But there was an app called food spotting, and that was all you did is just took pictures of food. Interesting. I'm surprised it didn't do better. I think because it was so niche that That's true. it didn't get the the widespread uh, traction that Instagram has gotten. So we're excited. We should maybe Facebook or Instagram live some behind the scenes stuff today. Yeah, I have Or a... invite your insurance agent to join Oh, yeah. Your I need a boom operator. A, I, I need some... <laughs> I work for peanuts. <laughs> well, Not you could peanuts. get a jalapeno burger. Uh... So yeah, so again, um, James, I think you're going to connect me with some businesses. If yeah, I got you a couple know secret spots. a business, if you own an, an eatery, um, if you just have a favorite, um, let us know in the comments on Facebook or Instagram, East County Eats, or give us a call, shoot us a text, 619-663-7355. Um, I think we're already booked out for like a month and a half. I keep getting more and more bookings, which is great. I think it's going to snowball. I think we're going to have a waiting list. Um, so right now is the but best honestly, time. But honestly, if you have an ice cream eatery, Brian may be yeah, able to slide, slide you up you the in. list. That's why I did this, to be honest. I, <laughs> I, 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 just, I was like, hey, there's a couple ice I got cream an idea, spots Kyle. That, I need to, <laughs> that I need to try out. They weren't all in Santee. I want to hit up Yogurt Mill. Um, so there, there's quite a few places. 
If yeah. it were up to you, it would be called East County Ice Cream. No, it'd be called Ice Cream in the World, and then I'd have you fly me all over the... Uh, <laughs> Kyle, I'm going to go to Dubai. I think they have some ice cream over there. I'll spend eight hours to make a video and uh, eat eight hours worth of ice cream. Brian, how many days per week do you have ice cream? I mean, not every... Seven. Seven days. <laughs> <laughs> what I mean, happens if you go without ice cream? I don't... I don't want. I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't remember the last time I went. I don't about. think it's happened yet. Um, we went to a Padre game DTs, recently right? as a team, <laughs> and the game is over, and everybody's like, "Hey, let's go up to the rooftop, have a drink." You know, one, I didn't know about that until we were already on our way. Two, it wouldn't have mattered. I was gonna get me a beef and bun milkshake, no matter what. <laughs> I didn't care he, if it was 2 a.m. He had a car with like four people, and instead of everybody going and hanging out after the game, it was like, nope, we are going to Beef and Bunt, getting me a milkshake. Chocolate, peanut butter, banana. That's it. Just go there. I need to hit them up. We yeah, I was going to say, why are they not on the list? Because this is my plan. I'm going to go there every day. I'm like, hey, Kyle, I really got to gotta schmooze them into getting this video. Get a milkshake every day. It's Ask, R&D. Hey, you know, R&D. Is there a manager here? They're like, yeah, I'll get my milkshake to go. But- that's that's my jam. That's my see. I'm a horrible drug addict. If you don't count, <laughs> if, if you count ice cream as a drug, I am yeah. the number one yeah. beaner. Uh, yeah. He's got ice cream running through his veins. I'm kind of in the mood for some ice cream. <laughs> We're going to BJ's after this to celebrate a coworker's birthday. So I think I'm just gonna and, get a and couple. And so of you did get the life Kazuki. insurance policy, right? Like that did. Yeah, was that ice cream? Cream? <laughs> he eats. He needs a good life. Does that insurance cover ice cream policy? hangovers and? I love yeah. it. So if you want to get connected with our insurance guy, James Cassidy, State Farm Insurance. Again, if you've got some restaurant tips or you own a restaurant in East County and you'd like to be featured on East County Eats, give us a call. Shoot us a text. 619-663-SELL. 619-663-7355. Thanks so much for listening to Whistle Wednesdays. We'll see you next week.